Liver fibrosis. Liver fibrosis occurs when the healthy tissue of your liver becomes scarred and therefore cannot work as well. Fibrosis is the first stage of liver scarring. Later, if more of the liver becomes scarred, it's known as liver cirrhosis. Once liver damage is done in humans, the liver doesn't usually heal. However, medications and lifestyle changes can help to keep fibrosis from getting worse. Causes of liver fibrosis. Liver fibrosis occurs after a person experiences injury or inflammation in the liver. The liver's cells stimulate wound healing. During this wound healing, excess proteins such as collagen and glycoproteins build up in the liver. Eventually, after many instances of repair, the liver cells, hepatocytes, can no longer repair themselves. Therefore, the excess proteins form scar tissue or fibrosis. Several types of liver diseases exist that can cause fibrosis. Specifically, these include autoimmune hepatitis, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which includes non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, alcoholic liver disease, viral hepatitis B and C, biliary obstruction, iron overload, Meanwhile, the most common cause of liver fibrosis is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. While the second is alcoholic liver disease due to long-term excesses of drinking alcohol. Symptoms of liver fibrosis. Doctors don't often diagnose liver fibrosis in its mild to moderate stages. This is because liver fibrosis doesn't usually cause symptoms until more of the liver is damaged. When a person does progress in their liver disease, they may experience symptoms that include appetite loss, jaundice, where the skin and eyes appear yellow, difficulty thinking clearly, fluid buildup in the legs or stomach, nausea, unexplained weight loss, weakness. According to a study, an estimated 6 to 7% of the world's population has liver fibrosis and doesn't know it because they don't have symptoms. Stages of liver fibrosis. There are several different scales of liver fibrosis staging. Where a doctor determines the degree of liver damage. Since staging can be subjective, each scale has its own limitations. One doctor may think a liver is slightly more scared than another. However, doctors will usually assign a stage to liver fibrosis because it helps the patient. At the same time, other doctors understand the degree to which a person's liver is affected. One of the more popular scoring systems is the METAVIR scoring system. This system assigns a score for activity, or the prediction of how fibrosis is progressing, and for the fibrosis level itself. However, doctors can usually assign this score only after taking a biopsy or tissue sample of a piece of the liver. The activity grades range from AO to A3. AO, no activity. A1, mild activity. Meanwhile, A2, moderate activity. A3, severe activity. The fibrosis stages range from F0 to F4. F0, no fibrosis. F1, portal fibrosis without septa. Meanwhile, F2, portal fibrosis with few septa. F3, numerous septa without cirrhosis. F4, cirrhosis. Therefore, a person with the most severe disease form would have an A3, F4 METAVIR score. Another scoring system is BATS and Ludwig, which grades fibrosis on a scale of grade 1 to grade 4, with grade 4 being the most severe. The International Association of the Study of the Liver IASL, also has a scoring system with four categories that range from minimal chronic hepatitis to severe chronic hepatitis. Complications of liver fibrosis. The most significant complication of liver fibrosis can be liver cirrhosis or severe scarring that makes the liver so damaged a person will become sick. Usually, this takes a long time to occur, such as over the course of one or two decades. When a person's fibrosis progresses to cirrhosis and liver failure, they can have complications such as hepatic encephalopathy, buildup of waste products that causes confusion, ascites, severe buildup of fluid in the abdomen, hepatorenal syndrome, portal hypertension, variceal bleeding, 
Each of these conditions can be deadly to a person with liver disease. Diagnosis of liver fibrosis. Liver biopsy. Traditionally, doctors considered taking a liver biopsy the gold standard of testing for liver fibrosis. This is a surgical procedure where a doctor would take a tissue sample. Then, a pathologist will examine the tissue for the presence of scarring or fibrosis. Diagnosis of liver fibrosis, transient elastographa. Another option is an imaging test known as transient elastographa. This is a test that measures how stiff the liver. When a person has liver fibrosis, the scarred cells make the liver stiffer. This test uses low-frequency sound waves to measure how stiff liver tissue is. However, it's possible to have false positives where the liver tissue may appear stiff. But a biopsy doesn't show liver scarring. Non-surgical tests. However, doctors have been able to use other tests that don't require surgery. To greater than to determine the likelihood a person may have liver fibrosis. These blood tests are usually reserved for those with known chronic hepatitis C infections. They are more likely to have cirrhosis of the liver due to their disease. Examples include Serum hyaluronate Matrix metalloproteinase 1, MMP And tissue inhibitor of matrix metalloproteinase 1, TIMP1 Doctors may also use tests that require calculations, such as An aminotransferase to platelet ratio APRI, or a blood test called fibrosure. They measure six different markers of liver function and put them into an algorithm before assigning a score. However, a doctor can't usually determine the stage of liver fibrosis based on these tests. Ideally, a doctor will diagnose a person with liver fibrosis at an earlier stage when the condition is more treatable. However, because the condition doesn't usually cause symptoms in earlier stages, Doctors don't usually diagnose the condition earlier. Treatment options for liver fibrosis. Healthy lifestyle for liver fibrosis. Treatment options for liver fibrosis usually depend upon the underlying cause of the fibrosis. A doctor will treat the underlying illness to reduce the effects of liver disease. For example, if a person drinks alcohol excessively, a doctor may recommend a treatment program to help them stop drinking. 7 Days to Drink Less Online Alcohol Reduction Program Link in the description If a person has NAFLD, a doctor may recommend making dietary changes to greater than to lose weight and take medications to promote better blood sugar control. Also, exercising and losing weight may also help to reduce the disease's progression. Medications for Liver Fibrosis A doctor may also prescribe medications, it is antifibrotics to reduce the likelihood that liver scarring will occur. The antifibrotic prescribed usually depends on the underlying medical condition. Examples of these treatments include chronic liver disease, ACE inhibitors, such as benazepril, lisinopril, and ramipril, hepatitis C virus, alpha tocopherol or interferon alpha, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, PPAR alpha agonist, while researchers are conducting many tests to try to find medications that can reverse the effects of liver fibrosis. However, there aren't any medications that can accomplish this currently. When a person's cirrhosis is severely scarred and inactive, a person's only treatment is usually a liver transplant. However, the waiting list is long for these transplant types. And not every person is a surgical candidate. Advice for liver fibrosis. Liver cirrhosis is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. Therefore, it's important that a person be diagnosed and treated for liver fibrosis as early as possible before it progresses to liver cirrhosis. Because liver fibrosis doesn't always cause symptoms, this is hard to do. Sometimes doctors have to consider a person's risk factors, such as being overweight or a heavy drinker, in diagnosing fibrosis and recommending treatments. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.